Welcome back, folks. As we live in these unpredictable times, we often find ourselves looking back at history to learn from our ancestors' experiences. Today, we're delving into a chapter of history that shook the world to its core, the Great Depression. This was a period of severe economic hardship that tested the resilience and resourcefulness of millions. But why are we talking about it today? Well, it's because the Great Depression is a treasure trove of survival and resilience lessons for us modern preppers. Picture this. The stock market crashes, financial institutions collapse, and unemployment skyrockets. Money becomes scarce and people struggle to make ends meet. But in these challenging times, the human spirit shines through. People become resourceful, using what little they have to survive. They patch up worn-out clothes, repurpose household items, and even grow their own food in victory gardens. It's an era of hardship, yes, but also one of incredible ingenuity, and this is where we, as modern preppers, can find gold. The Great Depression teaches us the importance of self-sufficiency. Families started backyard gardens, bartered goods and services, and learned new skills to lessen their dependence on scarce monetary resources. It's a testament to the power of self-reliance and adaptability, traits that are just as valuable to us today as they were back then. But it wasn't just about individual survival. The Great Depression also saw communities banding together, forming support networks to share resources like food, work, and shelter. It's a powerful reminder of the value of cooperation and mutual aid in times of crisis. The economic lessons from the Great Depression are also critical. The dangers of debt, the value of liquid savings, these are wisdoms that can guide our financial preparations today. And let's not forget the innovative solutions and adaptations that arose like cooperative farming and community kitchens. These historical adaptations can inspire us to think creatively and be flexible in our own prepping strategies. So let's dive into the past and see what the Great Depression has to teach modern preppers. It's not just about surviving the tough times, but thriving in them. And by learning from those who've been through the worst, we can prepare ourselves for whatever the future may bring. The Great Depression was a time of widespread economic collapse, but it was also a time of incredible resourcefulness. It's a period in history that saw a stock market crash so severe it led to widespread unemployment and the collapse of financial institutions on an unprecedented scale. The world's economy was in shambles and the effects were felt by everyone, from the wealthiest tycoons to the most humble workers. Yet, amid the rubble of economic ruin, the human spirit shone brightly. People demonstrated an exceptional degree of resourcefulness as they found ways to survive in the face of adversity. These stories of resilience and ingenuity offer valuable lessons for us today. There were families who, out of necessity, became masters of repurposing. A single pair of worn-out shoes could be patched and mended until they were barely recognizable, but still served their purpose. Clothing was handed down, remade, and reused, not out of a sense of thrift, but as a means of survival. Household items were given new life in unexpected ways. A cracked bowl could be mended to collect rainwater. Scraps of fabric could be sewn together to make a warm quilt for the cold winter nights. Nothing was wasted. Everything had a purpose. And then there were the victory gardens. Small patches of land transformed into life-sustaining fields. Backyards, rooftops, even vacant lots were used to grow everything from potatoes to tomatoes. These gardens not only provided food for the family table, they also served as a symbol of hope and resilience, a testament to the human ability to adapt and thrive even in the darkest of times. In the face of adversity, people found ways to make do with less, a lesson we can all apply in our lives today. The Great Depression was a time of hardship, but it was also a time of creativity, resilience, and resourcefulness. It's a stark reminder that even in the most desperate of circumstances, we have the power to adapt, to innovate, and most importantly, to survive. If there's one thing the Great Depression taught people, it's the importance of self-sufficiency. In an era where money was scarce and jobs were even scarcer, families learned to fend for themselves, to make do with what they had, and to stretch their resources as far as they could go. Imagine a family, huddled together in their small home, planting a victory garden in their backyard. Every seed is a promise of food on the table. Every vegetable harvested is a victory against hunger. This isn't just gardening, it's survival, it's self-sufficiency. It's a lesson from the past that rings true today. In the face of adversity, these families learned to preserve food, making jams, pickles, and canning vegetables. 
They kept chickens for eggs, and if they were lucky, for meat. They sewed and mended their own clothes, patched up shoes and made do with what they had. They were the original do-it-yourselfers, turning their homes into fortresses of self-reliance. Now let's bring these lessons into the present. Today we call this prepping, and it's not just for the end of the world, it's for the unexpected job loss, the sudden illness, the natural disaster. It's for those times when life throws a wrench in the works and we find ourselves needing to rely on our own skills and resources. Just like those families during the Great Depression, we can learn to preserve food, whether by canning, drying, or freezing. We can grow our own victory gardens in our backyards or in pots on our balconies. We can learn to fix things around the house, to sew a button, to patch a leak. We can become self-sufficient. But self-sufficiency isn't just about survival. It's about freedom. It's about knowing that you can take care of yourself and your family regardless of what life throws your way. It's about being prepared, being resilient, being strong. Self-sufficiency is not just a survival skill. It's a way of life that prepares us for any crisis. And in a world as unpredictable as ours, that's a lesson we can all take to heart. During the Great Depression, communities banded together. They knew they were stronger together than apart. This was a time when individuals, families, and entire neighborhoods discovered that pooling resources and skills not only increased their chances of survival, but also fostered a sense of camaraderie and shared purpose. In the face of widespread economic hardship, communities found innovative ways to support one another. They shared meals, opened their homes to those in need, and even created cooperative farming initiatives to ensure everyone had enough to eat. They bartered goods and services, with carpenters fixing a neighbor's roof in exchange for homegrown vegetables, or seamstresses mending clothes for a week's worth of firewood. This spirit of mutual aid wasn't just about survival, it was about preserving dignity and hope in the face of immense challenges. Fast forward to today, and these lessons from the Great Depression are more relevant than ever. In a world where uncertainties lurk around every corner, building strong community ties can be a lifeline. And it's not just about getting through tough times, it's about creating a network of support where everyone contributes and everyone benefits. Think about starting a local barter system where skills and goods are exchanged without the need for cash. Consider setting up a community garden where neighbors can grow fresh produce and learn valuable gardening skills, or maybe even organize group purchases for essential supplies to take advantage of bulk discounts. These community initiatives not only provide practical benefits, but also foster a sense of belonging, mutual respect, and shared responsibility. They remind us that no one has to face hard times alone, that we are all part of a larger community, and that together, we can weather any storm. So, as we prepare for whatever the future may bring, let's not forget the power of community and mutual aid. Let's reach out to our neighbors, share our skills, pool our resources, and build networks of support. Because when times get tough, we're not just stronger together. We're also more resilient, more resourceful, and better equipped to face whatever comes our way. Remember, community is not just about survival. It's about thriving together in the face of adversity. The Great Depression taught people harsh financial lessons that we can still learn from today. This period of history, while filled with adversity, can also be seen as a masterclass in financial survival. The first lesson from the Great Depression was the danger of debt. In the Roaring Twenties, many people and businesses were living high on the hog, financed by easy credit. When the stock market crashed, the debt bubble burst with it, leaving many in financial ruin. Today we can learn from this by avoiding excessive debt and living well within our means. The second lesson was the value of having liquid savings. During the Depression, many people lost their jobs and had no savings to fall back on. This led to widespread poverty and hardship. We can avoid this fate by building an emergency fund, a stash of money that can cover our living expenses for at least three to six months. This fund can be a lifesaver in case of job loss, medical emergencies, or other unexpected expenses. The Great Depression also highlighted the importance of diversifying income streams. Back then, many people relied on a single job or business for their income. When that job or business failed, they had no other source of income. Today we can mitigate this risk by having multiple income streams. This could be a side business, investments, freelance work, or any other income-generating activity. Lastly, the Depression taught us about the value of tangible assets. During this time, people who had invested in tangible assets like land or gold were better off than those who had all their wealth tied up in stocks or bonds. Today, 
We can apply this lesson by investing in tangible assets that hold their value, or even increase in value, during economic downturns. In conclusion, the Great Depression was a time of great hardship, but it also taught us valuable financial lessons. By being mindful of our debt, building an emergency fund, diversifying our income, and investing in tangible assets, we can be better prepared for whatever the future might bring. Remember, financial prudence is not just about money. It's about securing our future. Scarcity during the Great Depression led to a frugal lifestyle, a lesson we can choose to learn today. As we navigate the ebb and flow of economic tides, embracing the virtues of frugality and minimalism can serve as a life raft, keeping us afloat in stormy financial seas. In the face of deprivation, our forebears during the Depression cultivated an ethos of minimalism. They learned to live with less, to prioritize needs over wants, and to find value in the simple and the essential. This was not merely a matter of choice but a survival strategy, a way to weather the storm of economic hardship. Today we have the luxury of choice. We can choose to adopt a minimalist lifestyle not out of necessity but as a conscious decision to prepare for future uncertainties. By doing so, we can build financial resilience, reduce waste, and free ourselves from the cycle of endless consumption. So, how do we start? Begin by assessing your needs and eliminating excess. Simplify your lifestyle by reducing clutter, whether it's physical possessions or unnecessary expenses. Learn to repair rather than replace, to reuse instead of discard, to value quality over quantity. These are the seeds of frugality and minimalism, and when planted, they can grow into a robust shield against economic downturns. Embracing frugality and minimalism is not just about saving money, it's about reducing our dependence on commercial goods and services. The Great Depression was a time of hardship, but it was also a time of learning. It taught us the value of resourcefulness, the strength in community, the wisdom of financial prudence, and the power of emotional resilience. These lessons echo through the ages, offering valuable insights to modern preppers. Let the spirit of ingenuity and endurance from that era inspire us today. Let these lessons from the Great Depression inspire and guide us as we prepare for whatever the future may bring. Until next time, stay prepared and stay safe.